Hello, my name is Tom Warren with Alliance Corporation. We manufacture fiber optic cables for the wireless industry. Today in the Fiber Lab, we'll be showing you the basic steps in cleaning fiber optic connectors. So there are many cleaning uh, supplies on the, on the market right now for fiber optics. We've got a few here. We're going to go through them in their application. Uh, we, here we have an IBC cleaner, which is good for bulkheads, installed fiber. Uh, we have our 4x4 non-woven wipes for heavy residue. We have our solvent, which we use for uh, heavy residue, 90% IPA. We have our cassette with non-woven wipes. Uh, the popular Klee Top we have from NTT. We have the Kim White, which is also very popular. And the standard NTT Dry Wipe Cleaner. Also for this demonstration, we're going to be using the JDS Pro, so we can look at our fibers on the laptop. For heavy cleaning, I suggest that we use solvents. Solvents, to me, are better than the standard IPA because they're quick drying. The IPA tends to leave residue on the fiber and it's a little bit harder to clean. So I, for heavy residue on a fiber optic connector, I suggest using the solvent with a 4x4 wipe, or the cassette, or the cleat top. For light dust, minimal cleaning, the dry cleat top, or the NTT, or Kim wipe would be sufficient. Before we get to the cleaning process, I want to talk a little bit about dust caps. There's a little misconception about dust caps. They're really on the end of the fibers to protect the ferrule in transportation. We have to remember that dust caps are made in a mold and sometimes they use mold release agents to get them out of the mold. So a lot of times that can cause contamination inside the dust cap. So we have to remember even though that the cable is covered with a dust cap we need to take the time to inspect it and clean it. So here in the scope we have a fiber end face that has a little bit of minor debris on the end of it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take that out and use our cleat top. Do a couple strokes on the cleat top then check it again. And that fiber cleaned up very quickly. Looks good. So here we show a fiber end face with some heavy contamination on it. As you can see over the ferrule and the fiber itself there's some heavy contamination. So for this we're going to use the uh, wet to dry method. We're going to use our solvent spray on a 4x4 non-woven wipe. We're going to go wet to clean, to, to clean it so it's wet to dry and then we'll inspect it again. Looks very good and for the guys up in the tower that have to climb the tower that need to use the solvent, it's, uh, Chemtronics offers a pen that can attach to your shirt or your, you can put it in your tool belt. It's really easy to use. And that fiber is ready to go. In closing, uh, some people recommend that you use the dry only method to clean fiber optic connectors. At Alliance, we recommend that you use the wet to dry method. Here we're showing an end face of a, a single mode optical fiber that was uh, just cleaned with a cleat top and then we held it over some metal shavings. So you can see that it really acts as a magnet as the uh, electrostatic discharge is introduced here. So we're going to take this connector and we're going to use our wet to dry method. We're going to spray our solvent onto the 4x4 wipe. We're going to swipe it a couple times on the wet. And then we're going to swipe it on the dry to dry it down. Check our connector and that looks pristine, ready to go. Thank you for watching.